this morning. We're just gonna get to a different vantage point, try to pick them out, and come up with a game plan. But we literally spotted this block 15 minutes in the, being from the truck on the first day in Wyoming. So we're off to a really good start. spotted it yet but we think it's on the other side where the shadow is. The sun came up um, behind us and we were glassing it so moving closer just strip down it's getting pretty warm so moving up around on top hopefully glass them and the sink could come together real quick. Makes sense because for him to be on the opposite side. Yeah because it's shaded over there. It's shaded over there and then he has the mountain behind him. I was just thinking the wind. Big is why he was mature, he was big body. He's huge, buddy. When he came running up, I'm like, holy crap. He was at 90. I set my sight and was ready to draw, but he, he wasn't he was, stopping. He was Dang. At least we're on one. Yeah, I know, that was fun. We're gonna be running low on light by the time we get there, but it's gonna be worth it. We're headed to go find a goat. Gonna use the new 7 Meg custom. It's just after six o'clock, and we decided it's too late to make any moves on any deal, do or anything. So Travis has a goat tag, and then we went back, grabbed the gun. We're headed up to where we saw those goats. We're glasses from the old deer, so hopefully we get there before sunset.
over it, over it, over it, over it. Yeah, Sharon, I just misread the yardage. <laughs> I thought two, 250 was it, but I think it was 180. 180. silhouette and just stay on that side of it. Alright, so I'm working my way down. I gotta go down and then back around all the way up that mountain right there. And then I get up on top of them. Then I'll be able to drop down into it. So that's gonna take quite a while. Travis is all set up, ready to rock. And, uh, I just got some water and I don't have my backpack just so I can be light. Within an hour, hour and a half, at least get an opportunity at this buck. Sure was that far away? I was at, my sight was at 40. And I thought that's about where it was bedded. When it jumped, I just aimed high. Like, just at its back. And I think it went right there. Oh, 
was underneath the bush. He jumped up. Five o'clock no like five hours after I shot my buck and figured out we hit it I hit it in the neck and uh, when it jumped up I thought it was actually farther than it was and I aimed a little high and pretty much went right where I was aiming it was quartering so hard. So we've been tracking blood for like over a thousand yards for sure, 1500 yards, and just drip by drip, but it finally just dried up. So I don't know what to do. Travis is walking around a little bit more. I'm just completely whooped mentally and physically, but it sucks, for sure.
say no. Oh, you got him. Thanks. 